Hello, Namaste everyone. Today, me, Jai Ram, Kaistha, A E Y A S T S. Kaistha, me, uh, going to teach trigonometry of class 10. So, uh, it's in conditional trigonometry here. Yeah? The condition is if A plus B plus C equals to pi, prove that, prove that cos square A, cos square A plus cos square B minus cos square c is equals to 1 minus 2 sin a sin b cos c okay this is the problem so this can be done in many ways uh, but i am using here the squaring method to solve this so Okay, here uh, the given condition in solution. Okay, in solution, given that that a plus b plus c equals to pi. Or if you have just to find the value of a plus b, it will be like a sorry pi minus c. And if you take cos on both sides, taking cos ratio on both sides, we get cos. A plus B will be equals to cos pi minus cos pi minus C or this cos A plus B uh, the formula from trigonometry we have got cos A cos B and then mm, minus sin a sin b equals to cos a cos pi minus c okay if you see here in the rough cos pi means 1 degree minus c that is if you see the quadrant for second 180 minus 180 minus theta this is 180 minus theta if it is theta here, it is 180 minus theta. So this lies in second quadrant and cos is negative in second quadrant and it is minus cos c. So it is minus cos c. Now here occurring if you see here in um, the two proof section here, if you see here the combination of sin a sin b and cos c so here we have got sin a here sin b here and cos c here so this this ratio need to be in the same side so that we could get this sin a sin b and cos c later on so here uh, 
let's keep this sin a sin b and cos c in the same side so if you keep this cos a cos b in the left hand side and if you keep this minus sin a sin b in the right hand side that will be like plus sin a sin b minus cos c now at this stage what we need to do this stage what we need to do is uh, okay what we need to do is uh, to squaring on both side okay squaring on both side squaring on both side okay squaring on both side we get like here cos a cos b whole square will be equals to next is sin a sin b minus cos c and whole square okay so here after this square so let's open the square there let's open the square now here when that is like or cos square a cos square b and that will be equals to now sin is sin b minus cos c square here we are going to uh, use a minus b whole square a minus b whole square formula that is a minus b whole square formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square that is sin a okay sin a mm. sin a sin b whole square minus 2ab 2 sin a sin b sin a sin b okay sin a sin b then after that you know sin a sin b um cos c cos c plus cos square c or Now cos square a cos square b means again same cos square a cos square b equals to sin a cos sin b whole square means sin square a sin square b minus what's remaining two sin a sin b cos c two sin a sin b cos c plus cos square c or here um see here in this left hand side in, on the questions left hand side we need to have cos square a cos square b cos square c that means uh, this sine square e sine square b uh, is not there so let's change this <coughs> into cos square by like uh, sine square a means 1 minus cos square a isn't it so let's change this one okay in the next step here cos square a Then after okay, cos square a 
and uh, cos square b cos square b will be equal to sin square means 1 minus cos square a 1 minus sin square b and that is minus 2 sin a sin b cos c plus cos square c or second step same let's write same on the left hand side cos square a cos square b equals to while multiplying these two okay you can do it in draw also okay if i do here Uh, 1 minus 1 minus cos square a 1 minus cos square b that will be equals to 1 and 1 will multiply 1 minus cos square b and again minus cos square this minus cos square a will also multiply 1 minus cos square b so while multiplying this one what happens you can direct it at here so here 1 and 1 will multiply like 1 minus cos square a minus cos square sorry here cos square b minus cos square a minus cos square a minus and minus this pos cos square a cos square b and when these two are multiplied when these two are multiplied we get this much get this much and what's remaining at back 2 minus minus 2 sin a sin b cos c 2 sin a sin b cos c 